Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from the TheRightTrader.com back in with another cryptocurrency video. Today we're going to be talking about NEO, which is a uh, smart contract uh, cryptocurrency, very similar to Ethereum. It's likened to uh, the Chinese version of Ethereum. And this is actually a cryptocurrency that's been around for a while. It was initially founded back in 2014. And as you can see, it's uh, really stood the test of time here and has been functioning you know, ever since it was created. So it currently is um, a more medium-sized market cap cryptocurrency, currently ranking 34th spot with a market cap of $2.8 billion. So a bit more of a smaller market cap. As you can see, its market dominance is only 0.17%. I think this is pretty easily a cryptocurrency that could you know, climb up to around 1% market dominance considering how established uh, it is. And you know, like I said, this is not some type of new cryptocurrency. It's been around, it's been functioning for several years now. And like I said, there's a lot of interesting opportunities due to the Chinese aspect of it. And that's something that we're gonna talk about. But just to mention the, the how overlooked and undervalued I think it is, you know, if it were to climb up uh, anywhere near that 1% uh, market dominance, you know, current uh, market cap for cryptocurrencies is uh, over $1.7 trillion. So 1% uh, of that, would bring it anywhere to around, you know, $15 billion in market cap. As you can see, a pretty substantial rise uh, from where it is now. And uh, already, like I said, it's climbing back up, right? Its all-time high was around $200. What we're seeing is a U-shaped uh, recovery, really a cup and handle recovery, which we're going to talk about as usual in more detail on the uh, more uh, advanced chart in just a second. If you're interested in investing uh, in NEO and, and buying or trading NEO, make sure to check out Binance. It's the exchange I use personally for all my cryptocurrency trading needs. I'm not sponsored by them. It is just the uh, exchange that typically has the most volume. We're able to get the most uh, best prices. So uh, it's my, my preferred exchange and that's why I recommend it. Like I said, if you're interested in buying NEO, uh, make sure to check out uh, my link to Binance in the description of this video. Just a, a little uh, rapid introduction to NEO. Like I said, it is a, a rapidly growing and developing ecosystem, right? Very similar to, you know, a Chinese uh, version of the Ethereum network. And uh, its founders are actually pretty notable, right? We got Eric Zhang, which was the author of the Delegated Byzantine Fault Tolerance Algorithm. And we also got the Hong Fei, which is, you know, uh, the other founder of NEO, does some really interesting stuff. And, and we're going to actually look at some of his tweets here because we, we can get some insight into uh, what's being uh, prepared behind the scenes here uh, as far as, as NEO is concerned. And like I said, there's a lot of opportunity for the Chinese expansion of NEO. Uh, right now, you know, a lot of the cryptos we're seeing, of course, uh, are, are successful in their own right. But this neo cryptocurrency being you know the first actual blockchain founded in china is a pretty big deal and they actually did announce um in july of 2020 that uh neo was actually partnering with china's bsn right which is their blockchain infrastructure and they're starting to integrate with them only a six uh, other public chains uh were included in this you know uh, partnership so neo being one of them and neo also being you know, that the Chinese version of Ethereum, I think the Chinese government is uh, going to be incentivized to back NEO over any other cryptocurrencies. And I understand if you might not like that, or if you may feel like that's a bit of a contradiction, but at the end of the day, that is definitely something that will help push NEO further and also uh, something that you can profit off of considering how cheap NEO is right now at only around $40. Um, once again, here another tweet talking about how China's blockchain project is, you know, partnering with NEO. So once again, that is some pretty interesting bit of news. And we're really just seeing the beginning of that. What I think is, is most likely to happen is that China uh, and its government companies are going to be more likely to work with NEO and NEO's blockchain than uh, Ethereum, right? So that's just um, the, the most likely scenario, in my opinion. And like I said, NEO is actually very cheap right now. It's not even $50. Uh, you know, going back to its all-time high would already basically be a, a uh, 4x right there. And, you know, like I said, I mean, that is just the beginning on top of that, right? That's just getting back to the all-time highs, which seems very likely in my opinion. And, you know, if we start to see bigger numbers like it being able to take 1% market dominance, it could easily become a $20 billion plus uh, in terms of market cap cryptocurrency. And that is already some pretty impressive levels of the price, you know, reaching four or $500 plus. And I think that's absolutely doable, right? In terms of 
uh, what's going to happen in 2021 specifically. Uh, we're going to talk about that in the more detailed chart in just a second. Once again, if you are interested in uh, investing in NEO, make sure to check out uh, Binance, uh, link in the description to Binance. So uh, just going to go over the website really quickly, just so you know a little bit more about NEO. It's got some pretty interesting statistics and uh, specialties. One of it is that you can actually develop with mainstream languages, which is very nice and something that a lot of blockchains don't have. So that is a very big uh, selling point for NEO in terms of uh, developers wanting to join uh, the network. Uh, and their network is actually highly active, right? There's over 2 million users, uh, 500,000 uh, plus community members across different social platforms like Reddit, um, 100 plus decentralized apps, and uh, 300 plus technical contributors. And uh, they're also, you know, expanded in 20 cities, seven countries, and over 10 uh, communities, right? So they are, you know, like I said, quite established and, and very much overlooked in that sense, considering that they've been around um, they have their Echo Boost program, which is, you know, basically funding uh, blockchain projects that could um, accelerate the growth of the NEO blockchain. And this is a hundred million dollar, you know, fund that they have here. So also great that they're supporting the network through uh, something like that. Also, we're just going to look at, you know, just some uh, extra bit of um, information on their technology and their uh, smart economy, right? They've got a lot of different things. Not going to go into massive detail, but I mean, we've got voting mechanisms. We've got their dual token, you know, utility in on-chain governance. Uh, they've even got a built-in Oracle component, smart contracts, Neo virtual machine. They've got a lot of stuff, right? Pretty much everything you want in a blockchain. And, and now with Neo 3.0, you know, we can expect uh, higher transactions per second in the future. And, you know, Neo is also a uh, Quite a bit cheaper than the ethereum blockchain so also something to point out here got their you know neo in retrospect like i said founded in 2014 they've been around you know and and they've been improving they are a little bit more low-key which is not a bad thing so you know don't expect hype every week about what neo is doing but overall right um if we go back to that more basic chart on coin market cap you can really see the steady increase here after we um left this little rut here uh, which is a pattern that you'll actually see on many altcoins. So especially Neo being an altcoin is actually pretty nicely positioned in terms of, you know, really getting a significant increase in price in the next altcoin cycle, which I think we have a good opportunity of seeing in 2021. So really, right, just the beginning of, of the increase back to all-time highs is what I think we're seeing. If we uh, look at this on the more detailed chart, right, this is, like I said, your pretty typical cup and handle formation and if you don't know what a cup and handle formation looks like just take a look at the video on my channel and i explain that in more detail overall right we have also a very nice uh, uptrend that's been forming this is our more uh stable uptrend line and then we've got this shorter term uptrend line which has really been carrying us uh very nicely higher i think that we have a pretty good opportunity of, of uh even holding this um uptrend line right here uh, if we don't, this one is quite a bit lower, so, you know, that would slow down the uh, potential uh, increase. But right now, uh, this one seems to be holding up very nicely, so I'm not too concerned about that. Also got a nice little uptrend on the RSI, currently very stable around the 54 level there. And uh, if we look at the MACD, we are just now starting to potentially see a second uh, crossover above the orange line, meaning another move higher. So uh, I think that the next move higher will actually push us above $50, which is a, you know, a key resistance level. Go ahead and draw that in uh, on the chart. Uh, with Neo being at, at $40, you know, prices tend to gravitate towards the bigger rounder numbers and $50 makes a lot of sense at this point. I don't think that we're going to have too much trouble moving above that. And that'll really open up the door for a much quicker move up to $81, which is our next uh, bigger resistance level. Once again, I don't think it's going to be too much of a struggle. You know, it might take a little bit of time here. We're looking at somewhere near May 2021, end of May 2021. Uh, and of course, you know, then the next big level is going to be that big $100 mark. And then it, there, there was a lot of chop back here um, in the, the $150 area. So it's hard to say exactly where we might see some resistance after $100. Could see a bit at $120, $130. But overall, right, logically, $150 is our next big resistance level. And after that, we're pretty much back to all-time highs, back to the $200 level. So not that much resistance ahead a bit in that 80 to 120 dollar area but overall nothing to be concerned about um, this is just the start of the increase and i think that um you know we will be able to move through these resistance levels without too much problem 
and really, like I say, see that uh, 4x increase, right? Bringing Neo very quickly up to, you know, around a 8 to $10 billion market cap. Overall, I think that this is something that we could see by the end of 2021, Neo being somewhere around, you know, $150 or even in a better case scenario at or above its all time highs at $200, right? So looks like here we may only see a move to Neo depending on how quickly it moves up to $140, $150 by the end of 2021, which is still around over a three times increase. But really, I even think that uh, in a, a strong case scenario here, we see a strong move for altcoins that we could actually see it move above $200. And keep in mind, this is just for 2021, right? After 2021, I think that NEO is gonna do maybe even better depending on the news we get. And we could really see NEO becoming a four to $500 plus cryptocurrency. So, I mean, that is, you know, over 10X from where we are now. So a lot of opportunity for NEO. Overall, one of uh, my favorite altcoins right now, uh, considering, you know, how cheap it is for an established cryptocurrency, right? Which is exactly what I've been talking about in this video. And that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. Also check out my technical analysis master course. If you're interested in learning technical analysis, it's less than $20, comes with 30 money day money back guarantee. And we've got great reviews to you know prove the success of this course. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. And once again, if you are interested in investing or trading NEO, make sure to check out Binance the best cryptocurrency exchange around. Link to that in the description of this video as well. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Stay safe and have a great day. I'll see you next time.